so now that i've emptied out my pencil case i just wanted to check if there was anything in there so i'm just gonna turn it upside down and... hang on a minute hang on a minute where has this 20p come from i have no idea where it came from but it somehow appeared in my pencil case maybe i must have not zipped my wallet or something i have no idea but i found a 20p so i'm just gonna go put that in my wallet and I may as well use it when I have the chance of having a 20 <laughs> channel and today i wanted to show you guys today what's in my college bag today because in my previous video i did on my channel i showed you guys what is my morning routine for college so then i decided i already did a video for what is in my bag school edition in the past so why not do a video what's in my bag but for college edition and this actually might be helpful for you guys as well because if you're going into college soon or anyone sees this video and I want to know what I should have in my college bag at all times. Basically, I normally chuck things into my bag, so I actually wonder what's in my bag at some times. But sometimes I'm in such a rush in the morning, I really have no time to check it in the morning. So the first thing I have in my bag is this massive folder here. And I don't know if you remember this folder, but I actually did show it in one of my videos where i was showing you my stationery haul and i actually never used this folder for year 11. it was actually quite depressing because i actually brought this nice folder and i never used it for high school maybe because i had so many folders and i had no room in my bag whatsoever anyways in my whole week at college i normally just chuck all my sheets that my teacher has given me into this folder because I like to be the person who likes to have everything and I have spare plastic bullets in here, spare pieces of paper in here for any writing notes and if I do see that I'm running out or something I make sure to stock up on them as well so I don't run out and as you can see while I'm trying to balance this on my hands that this is how much work I do and no this is not all the work I actually do for college there's actually so much more but this is only half of it and if you just imagine this being doubled maybe tripled that's how much work i do for college and i have to empty out my folder kind of monthly i would say just in case my folder doesn't break of like having too many sheets in but it's holding up quite well but there are some parts that are ripped and broken but i can live with it for now I maybe might change my folder in the future, but I might as well use this one while I've still got it and it still works. So I'm going to put this on the side for a minute here. So next in my bag, I've got these here and these are just my regular Apple AirPods and I always have them in my bag, whether I'm in college or not, because I always like to listen to music wherever I go and it makes me happy. And it makes the time go faster, basically. And when I'm in college, I like to work with music as well because it makes me focused. I don't get carried away. I always make sure to charge them every night because, say, a day in college, I use my AirPods more. I have to charge it overnight. But if I use them less in a day at college, I normally don't charge it. But I always check how much battery it's got every morning and every time before i go to bed so i'm going to put these over here the next thing i have in my bag are these these are my glasses and if you're wondering what are these glasses for i use them to go to college because they say i need glasses when i'm reading or writing something to be honest sometimes i don't like to wear my glasses when i'm working i have to do it but when I'm outside of college, not really doing anything, I can normally take them off. So I'm going to place them over here and I'm going to see what else is in my bag. The next thing I have in my bag is this. This is basically a body spray that I always like to have. And the scent of this is Tropical Beach plus Espresso. And as you can see, or not quite clearly see, 
that it's nearly finished and I need to buy a new one ASAP. But anyways, I always have it in my bag because when I run up the stairs and I'm like really tired and really hot, I normally give myself a few quick sprays before I go into the classroom because I always like to smell fresh and not smell my own sweat when I'm going up the stairs. So basically, that's why I always have it in my bag with me all the time for college or when I'm not in college because I always like to smell fresh. So I'm going to just put this to a side now and then I'll show you guys what else is in my bag. You sometimes see people when you go to college without a pencil case, but I always like to have a pencil case with me because ever since primary to secondary and then now to college, I've always been taught that I should have a pencil case with me. So this is just a kind of a general normal pencil case. Like there's nothing really special about it i'll give you a quick showcase of what is in my pencil case but i have a colorful pen a pencil another pen loads of highlighters more highlighters my calculator and two rulers so now that I've emptied out my pencil case, I just wanted to check if there was anything in there. So I'm just going to turn it upside down. And... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Where has this 20p come from? I have no idea where it came from, but it somehow appeared in my pencil case. Maybe I must have not zipped my wallet or something. I have no idea. But I found a 20p, so I'm just going to go put that in my wallet and i may as well use it when i have the chance of having a 20p so basically that's what's in my pencil case and if you're wondering why i have so many highlighters in my pencil case it's because when i'm actually writing notes i like to highlight important things but i don't like to highlight important things in just one color i like to do like a rainbow of colors so i'm just going to put this to the side here and the next thing I have in my bag is my bus pass here. And I'm not going to show you the picture because it looks really bad. I have this in my bag because I get the bus to college in the morning. Well, technically two buses. I have my bus pass in my bag because I get two buses in the morning. One at 7.50 in the morning and one at 10 past 8 in the morning. And then normally I'm at college, normally after the second bus. Basically, if I didn't have this bus pass with me, I'd be spending about £10 on the bus a day. And that is just too much money by my expectation. So I'm going to leave this onto the side here and I'm going to show you else what I've got in my bag. The next thing I've got in my bag is my student pass. And basically in my college, we have gates. And every time you enter through the front gates at college, students or teachers normally have to scan their card onto the scanner and it'll let you in. I've never forgotten my pass at home yet, but why am I even saying this? I probably will forget it. Basically this pass is like the key into college and if I don't have it, I won't be able to come into college and I will either have to pay for a new one, which I don't know how much that costs, or I have to get access into college by going through another way into college. But then I have no way out. I'm going to put this aside now and I'm going to show you what else I've got in my bag. The next thing I have in my bag are these two. Basically these two go together. And as you can see one of it is a charging wire. Um, this must be a portable charger. This is my portable charger which I've used for I think maybe a year now. Maybe two. I'm not sure. Basically, I carry this portable charger wherever I go. It doesn't matter if I'm in college or not. I carry it everywhere with me because you never know when your phone's going to run out of battery. So I have this all the time with me, but I also make sure that it's charged even the night before or when I'm about to put it into my bag. What would be the point of me putting a charger that is not charged in my bag? That would just be pointless, I would say. So I'm going to put this to the side now and I'm going to see what else is in my bag. The next thing I have in my bag is a pen. I don't know why I have it outside of my pencil case. Normally my bag is normally neat and tidy, but for some reason this pen must have fell out. Basically this is just a normal pen, there's nothing really special about it. So I'm going to put this to the side now and I'm going to show you what else is in my bag. Basically this is just my keys, I'm not going to show you anything with it, but I always have my keys. 
either in my jacket that I'm wearing on the day or actually in my bag depending what I'm in the mood for but basically this is my keys I'm not going to show you anything else in it if you're wondering why there's so many key rings they, they all have a special meaning but I'm not sure if I'm going to show it in the video or not but let me just say this all the key rings on here either have a really funny memory or just I went to a place on a trip or something and I would like to have a memory of it so I'm going to put these two aside now, I'm going to show you what else I've got in my bag. We're nearly getting there now guys, we're nearly getting there. I pack a tissue because basically in college there's an annoying guy in my class who always hogs the tissue box whenever he has a cold or something, I don't know. And he basically doesn't share with anyone. So I thought I bring, might as well bring my own tissues and use it for myself because when he keeps the tissue box to himself, he normally rips the box. So that's why I have my own tissue pack in my bag. So I'm going to leave this to the side and there's just a couple more things in here. A water bottle. My water bottle is nearly empty now. I need to fill it up. So basically when I'm at college, I always make sure that I'm hydrated and I have to go up two flights of stairs to actually get to my classroom. And by the time I'm up there, I'm like panting. But then I have to like walk down a long 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 corridor and that is even more tiring so i always make sure i have a full water bottle with me because i like to be hydrated all the time and this bottle that i've got in my bag now is smart water basically that's just my water bottle i'm gonna put it to a side now and there's one more thing that is in here and that is my purse there's nothing really special about it really even though it's a michael corpse Basically, at college, I have to pay for any snacks that I have from the vending machine or my, for my lunch or my break. And that's why I have my wallet in my bag all the time with me. Or in some cases, I actually am allowed to leave early because I've done all the work. So I normally go into the shops to have a quick nosy and look what's in there. If there's anything on sale or anything that I might need, I might buy it. So I'm going to put this to a side. So basically that's what's in my bag for college which I carry every single day and all the time in college and I never change it now I like just to keep everything in there that I've showed you guys today. On my channel in the past I did a video where I showed you my morning routine school edition, my bag routine school edition and my night routine school edition as well. So I decided now that I'm at college why don't I do my morning bag and night routine but for college? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today because I had fun showing you guys what's in my college bag today. So make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this video and the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Also comment hashtag shout me out in the comments down below and I'll shout you out in my next video. Peace out mate, Squillix family. Peace out, have a nice day.